Hey, what's happening, two friends family? Back again, brand new bid for you guys, man. Some unboxing action. Yes, I'm very excited about this pickup. I know I said that probably a lot in my other videos, but this specific box, man, I'm really, really happy. This is actually a trade I did with someone via Twitter. I'll leave the information down below in the description so you guys know that they're good if you ever want to do a trade with them. But huge shout out to my buddy on Twitter as well who actually middleman this trade. His name is Nate. We call it MD Nate on Twitter. I'll leave his information down below. People who follow me on Twitter actually know who he is. He's a really cool guy in the sneaker community. So huge shout out to you, man, for making this possible, taking your time to go out and uh, rebox the stuff and ship them out and, and watch and look at both shoes, man. So really appreciate you guys. The guy who did the trade, his name is Evan and Nate for actually making this possible, man. So some are about to both of you guys, man. So without further ado, let's jump right into it, all right? This actually came yesterday, but I missed it um, via U USPS. And uh, they said it was signed for with my name. And I'm like, bruh, I didn't sign for this damn package. Apparently, um, my neighbor signed for it and put my initials, so I'm really happy they did that. But um, can't wait to see these in person. No, I have not seen them yet, but when pictures first surfaced, I know I'm butchering this box right now, but when pictures first surfaced, man, I knew this shoe that I have to have, and I'm happy I waited it out, and um, reached out to a few people who had it in the, in the collection they were trying to sell. Of course, the prices were super high, and I just wasn't trying to pay that up front, man. Um, so I waited it out, like I said, and waited till the prices got down to a certain number and traded it for a shoe that I thought was fair and of even value. So, put this knife on before I kill myself. Okay, so I see Nate shipped it in the thing where I shipped uh, the other guy's shoe with some garbage bags. I mean, yes. Like I said, waited it out, man, and boom. Here you guys go, man. You see that white box, jump man on top. Take a look at that box label. Yes, sir. And Air Jordan 12 Retro. I'm so excited. As you can see your yeah, ingredients there for the shoe. Got your little lace hole right there. It reminds me of the Ovio box, except it doesn't have the owl in there. And I'm not sure if the Ovio box had the skull ring. I have to probably take a look at my wife here. But let's take a look at these, man. You guys know the story on this shoe. And also, Nike announced, I think, after the shoe released, that some of the proceeds, or maybe all of the proceeds, went to a specific charity. So finally, literature on it, I'll leave the link down below in the description if you want to take a look and read it. So let's take a look at these bad boys right here, man. Came with a dust bag. Really nice material in the dust bag as well too. Reminds me of the pinnacle dust bags that you get. So really nice with that gold jump in. Put this to the side. And here are the shoes, man. Dead stock. And for you guys want to know what shoes I traded, um, I traded one of my 350 boots, the Pirate Black. So I had more than one pair of those. I don't feel for more than one pair. And I traded him my 2015 pair. So that was, a, you know, I, I, I had no problem doing that. He actually wanted a pair of Yeezys in his collection. I'm a big fan of the Jordan 12 silhouette, as you guys know. I said it in the French Blue video that I did uh, about probably a week ago. And um, just needed these in the collection, man. So here they go, man. The Air Jordan 12's wings. Clean, clean shoe. Huge shout out to Mr. Former Simpson who actually did a video on these, making these shoes so much more desirable, even when he took, when he, uh, took the paint off. So had to have them, man. Just kind of giving you guys my first impressions on the shoe. Just kind of showing you guys some things on the shoe here. So craftsmanship so far as I'm looking over the shoe is really, it's nice on my pair. You still have your typical glue stains, nothing crazy. But you guys do know this black paint comes off the top. Let me put one of the shoes down. I get up close and personal on these bad boys. So I have that nice tumble leather here as well too. Just remember, it's just the same as any Jordan 12s. This doesn't have the Jumpman brand. It has just the wings branding, as you guys know. Gold up here for the aglets. Instead of saying two, three, it says, it says wings here on the middle, going down black shoestrings. The Bendova, they have some gold lace tips on the shoestrings, but nonetheless, they don't. Do have your Jumpman right there. And this says Jordan with a little, what the, I don't know, with a little help, everyone can fly. I believe that's what it says right there. Yep. Let me see if I can focus. I don't have one of those fancy cameras. I'm a big fan of the outsole, man. That is so dope. Really, really clean, man. Sorry this video is kind of getting long, but 
you know, I was struggling with the box. I'm gonna have to edit this whole thing out. But look at that insole, that wings pattern on the insole. That's the same pattern that you would get on the upper once the, uh, the black paint comes off. And you can see some of it also on the outsole as I showed you in the translucent section with it. But like I said, huge shout out to those guys who made this possible, man. Can't wait to rock these in the summer. Jordan Tulsa is my favorite silhouette. So really happy to add these to the collection and I think for a fair trade in my opinion. Let me know in the comments below if you guys had a chance to get these. If you thought the, the, uh, the, the trade was fair and and uh, just what you thought, um, what you thought about the video as a whole. All right, leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Definitely goes a long way. Definitely share this video with your friends and family. Um, Instagram, Twitter, those links are always down below in the description. You can reach me there. And I'll see you guys for some more content. Stay tuned. I thank you. God bless.